Next, I would invite Dr. Narendra Singh Verma to talk on manual image guided system. So I present to you manual image guided system. In last three years, we developed this topographer, which is having multiple apps. It's not going forward. Not going forward. So, okay. okay. There are different methods for precise axis alignment of the toric lens. The common method is manual marking. It is economical, but three-step method, so it is tedious, and there are chances of error due to cyclotorsion, head tilt, and sometimes during surgery, the preoperative mark can smudging or wipe out of the marks can occur, causing error. So the best method presently available are image guided system. It is single-step method, so it's easy and eliminate all the error, but it is very expensive. So by mixing and matching these two systems, we develop manual image guided system. In this method, Pre-operative marking of two reference points, 0 and 180 degrees is not required. So no pre-operative markings. Surgeon has to select two limbal structure on the topography picture, which are prominent, and they act as the reference point. During surgery, he will mark two reference points. These two reference points, he will identify on the patient eye and the topography picture, and he will mark manually just before the operation, just before putting the rotators, rotation of the eye well. So, the marking is done at the time of rotation of the eye well, so there are no chances of smudging or wipe out of the marks. And it is based on the principle of image guided system, so it eliminates the error due to cyclotorsion and head tilt. Let's see how it works. Volume. It is an LED-based anterior surface topographer which analyzes 600 data points in a 9mm central corneal zone. A single capture provides us with all the required data which is summarized on a single screen. It provides keratometry in 3, 5 and 7mm zones, axial deep map, bite to bite, etc. There are four basic steps. Step 1. Capture topography picture. The system automatically marks the steep axis. Step 2. Enter site of incision and incision aside. The system automatically marks axis of alignment. Step 3. Identify and mark two landmark points. The system will mark their position in degrees. Step 4. Manually mark two landmark points on the patient's eye and use them as reference to mark axis of alignment. Demonstration. Step 1. Marking of steep axis. Capture a topography picture. The system will automatically mark steep axis on this topography picture. Step 2. Marking of axis of alignment. The system has direct access to Barrett Universal 2 and Barrett Toric Calculator. Press the calculator icon and net AC matism will be displayed. Now enter site of incision and incision SIA and press the calculator icon again. This table displays net AC matism if site of incision is changed in a 40 degree range. The system has automatically marked the axis of alignment on the topography picture. Step 3. Identification and marking of two landmark points. The system enhances the topography picture to make limbal structures more prominent. In this topography picture, the surgeon has to select two prominent limbal structures or blood vessels. Mark them by touching the screen and it will automatically mark their axis in degrees. Step 4. Manual marking of landmark points on the patient's eye by comparing the final topography picture with microscope view. Use the axis markings as reference to mark axis of alignment of toric lens. Demonstration of toric lens axis alignment. Left eye keratometry of this patient shows 1.5 diopter AC matism in 132 degrees in 3 mm zone. Press the calculator icon. Net AC matism will be displayed directly from Barrett toric calculator. It is 1.1 diopter in 145 degrees in this case. Enter SIE value, which is 0 0.3 in this case. The axis of alignment will be displayed automatically, which is at 147 degrees in this case. Press the pencil icon to enter biometry data. Axial length, ACD, and lens thickness. 
the axis of alignment at 127 degrees is displayed as a green line and site of incision at 136 degrees in the form of a pink highlighted area. Identify two prominent limbal structures. Click on it. The system will display their axis. It is 17 and 50 degrees in this case. Save the picture, rotate it as needed and use it interoperatively to identify landmark points and the microscope. Here, I am making two landmark points at 70 and 50 degrees on the patient side. Hold the degree gauge and align it with the markings. Now mark the site of incision which is at 136 degrees. After lens implantation and viscoelastic removal, bring the degree gauge again to mark axis of alignment on the limbus at 145 degrees using 17 and 50 degree landmark points as reference. You can also mark the axis of alignment on the cornea. Finally, align the toric lens axis with the corneal markings. So thank you for your kind attention. So I think that's an uh, excellent innovation, but I think you need to move a little forward where actually you do away with the markings because a lot of these times when you take the patient matching with the, you know, the picture on the top on the topographer and matching on the microscope, I think that could be sometimes be challenging. So we are incorporating the SDR mode. In SDR mode, the uh, because blood vessels are not visible because there's reflex of the sclera. So SDR mode will give you better picture. So all the structure will be seen prominently. And we are also developing P2 with the infrared. So it will tell you the TK directly and, and the net astigmatism from the Barrett. It is directly having access to the Barrett. You need not to do anything. You have to just switch on your hotspot of the mobile and it is directly feed all the data and give net estimator within seconds. What is the net estimator from Barrett and what will be the TK? No, so no, but actually this is not estimating the posterior corneal surface. This is not a shame that, based. Presently it is there. Presently entry is there. We are also developing this SDR mode. So the prominent blood vessel will be more prominent and P2. By P2 will... No, no, but then you don't get a true K on this. So, if we will get the P2, P1 and P2, then the difference between the this P1 and P2 will give us a 2K. And the net astigmatism directly we are getting from the Barrett. It is directly accessed to the Barrett. We need not to feel anything. We need not to go the chart. Just press the button. It will tell you this is the your K1, K2 anterior surface and P2. this net astigmatism from Barrett will be this one. So, you can counsel your patient. So, just doing a topography, you can, you can find if oblique astigmatism is there. So, whether... Uh, 1.1, how much will be the net astigmatism, you can di directly get from here. So, no need not to fill the, all the forms and see what will be the net estimates. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, doctor. I request Dr. Sonu Goel, <coughs> sir, to hand over the certificate to Dr. Uh, Narendra Singh.